Are you single and waiting? Guess what? You just clicked on the right video. Now, right here is my wife. And check it out. She's in the dugout. Because guess what? Sometimes when you're single, you can feel like you're in the dugout of life. You can feel like you're watching everybody play. You're watching everybody be married, everybody getting engaged, everybody in a relationship, people doing this, having children, doing all this stuff, getting a home, all this stuff. And you feel like, well, what about me? You know, should I just rush into a relationship just so I can post something on social media? Should I compromise? Should I should I text that dude back who been doing me wrong for five or six years? Like a holiday is coming up, man. Should I should I text somebody? I want somebody to give me a gift. I want to give somebody a gift. You can be struggling with all these different things, but we're here to clear some of that up. Let's take a walk into the dugout of life. Now in this video, my wife is gonna share some insight on being single and waiting. All right. So, how you feel? You single and waiting right now? What? You have any 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 questions? <laughs> Besides that, all uh, that Dr. Pepper you drank it through on the ground. You got anything else? Nah, I just playing. That was here before we got here. No. Yeah. Okay. You have any? So, as as a woman. What would you say is something that was on your mind when you were single and waiting? I definitely felt like everyone else was married or mm -hmm. had children, mm -hmm. um, especially like everyone I worked with. Um, yeah. It wasn't, but it wasn't the truth. Like, that's just what I felt was right mm. or felt was um, going on around me, I guess. Right. Um, I think when I got married, I looked. I kind of looked back and was like, everyone wasn't married, and mm. there were a lot of people around me that I could have um, had better relationships with mm. and spent more time with instead of feeling like alone or feeling like, oh my gosh, everyone else is married. Like we could have um, spent more time together as you know, as girls, and like next week is Valentine's Day, mm -hmm. and that could have been spent with those people to help them get through a tough time or quote unquote a tough time um mm -hmm. instead of all of us probably just being like oh woe is me so i think that was a big deal um but i didn't see it at the time because i was so laser focused on what everyone else um had that i didn't have that's real instead of seeing who around me was in the same boat and how mm. we could you know kind of join together and be better in that season mm. i mean there's things that we all could have worked on mm -hmm. together instead of individually mm. not that you know the lord would have made time speed up or anything but we would have had a better single season if we would have done it together that's real that's real so to that person out there how you doing all right so to that person out there that's you know they thinking like man like but what do I do right now? Like, they really, 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 they on the verge of just saying, you know what? I want to delete everybody off social media. I'm tired of all these happy looking couples. I'm tired of seeing all this. I just, I might just delete my whole phone. Well, you can't delete a phone, but you know, they, they, they may literally go into a depression, not want to be around anybody or anything that reminds them of relationships or they may hate on a relationship because they may not have one yet. They may feel like they're unwanted. They may even feel like they're ugly. You know, they may feel like they're overweight. Like they can literally beat themselves up. So what would you say to that person in terms of how God views them and what God has in store for them if it's in his will for them to be married? Okay, so I personally don't believe that if you feel the desire to be married that that you have that without you know the lord having or preparing someone for you mm -hmm. uh, if you have the gift of singleness i feel like um that would be like that would be your desire to yeah, be single yeah. um not for any not for a, a negative reason not like all guys are bad so i'm just mm -hmm. gonna be single for the rest of my life um but i think that people who do have that gift have that desire like mm. it's already been given to them yeah. Um, or it's already, you know, it's already been revealed to them that that's the way that they will live, you know, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah it makes um, sense. But yes, uh, about just however you feel, mm -hmm. I think that we do have to go back and look and 
Mm -hmm. um, search scripture to how God views us because yeah. um, everyone on social media is putting you know all the positives um, yeah. on there. I mean, we had a baby girl. Of course, we're going to say all the positive things, but mm -hmm. we aren't going to talk about necessarily. We aren't going to post pictures about us being so tired or... Mm. Um, or that, or that labor or delivery that, went. All right. Or that 3 a.m. when you hear, <laughs> right, right next to you, you know. Right. Ain't, right, ain't gonna post that. Everybody's ain't not gonna, posting all that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Or like the pain. Like, hey, everyone, wait, 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 I, wait, I, I want to apologize for screaming in the ear. Somebody <laughs> might have had earbuds on. Why do you call them earbuds? But everyone talks about, you know, how awesome their baby is or, you yeah. know, like a beautiful blessing, but not all of the, the, um, the testing the trials mm, that come yeah. before it or the pain that you have to endure um through it all so yeah, that's right um anyways just remember that social media is everyone's highlight reel and you don't get to see all the negative um you may see their relationship um their new relationship status but you don't know what that that person has to go through in that yeah. that relationship or that marriage mm -hmm. to just work there you um go. may look happy on the outside but at home check out y'all fighting and cussing and you know all kinds of craziness mm -hmm. um but next thing you know it's like this beautiful family photo of them with happy smiles so right. uh, i would just never covet anybody else's relationship because you don't know uh, what it took for them to get there and yeah. what it's taking them to or costing them um to stay in it so i don't know if that right. answered it but uh, no that was my, good that's my two cents that was good <laughs> yeah that was, that was good. That was good. Yeah, well, that's awesome. And I definitely agree with everything you said. And, uh, you know, just like you said, everybody is posting their controlled online content. People, listen, nobody's going to wake up in the morning and take a selfie with all the crust in their eye. They're not going to do that. They're going to wake up. They're going to, you know, do their hair, put their makeup on, brush their teeth. They're going to take a photo with a ring light. You know what I mean? You're going to be you know, every, everybody wants to present themselves in the best way possible. So, see, when you log on and you see everybody else's uh, controlled online content, don't get don't get caught up comparing yourself to this person, that person, this person, and that person. Some people are really de depressed behind there. They post that and then they log off and, and feel depressed. But they're giving you the image that you have to be here or there or here or there. And you feel like, well, if I ain't there, then, you know, I I'm nothing. But like she said that season of singleness you know that's a blessing there's so many things you can be learning in that single of season don't don't feel like you're in the dugout no you in the game god is teaching you something on first base no that's not first base that's home plate home plate first second th see god wants to teach you as you navigate right and guess what when it's his time if it's in his will right when you come in home when you have that person for you you're going to be seasoned right you're going to have everything that god uh, has sprinkled in the gumbo but see, you you try to skip first and come home, man. Look, you liable to get into a relationship and you know be uh you know not uh not patient. You know what I mean? You don't want to hear what the other person got to say. All you want to do is share your viewpoint, and it, and you get mad and you slam a door and make a picture fall off and break the picture of your little puppy. You know what I'm saying? Right. right? But hey, I can say one thing. Yeah. I got something very fun. Well, and don't believe everything you see on social media. You see my shoe right here. I might post these as, good. yeah, I might post these things as kicks of the day, but that's a fake Puma sign. Look, he no, not, it's not. He not no. even jumping. He crawling. Look at him. <laughs> and look, bottom of my shoe ain't got no grip. But see, you ain't going to never know that, right? Because I probably ain't going to post that. So, you know, don't be too hard on yourself in social oh, that's media. that's good right there. Like, on the... On the surface, it looked like you got some nice shoes. That's I mean, right. But deep they, down, they I, I can't run when it rains. They not, they not too bad. They not super nerdy. But man, boy, ain't got no kind of Yeah, ain't got, got no grip. kind of grip. Can't do nothing of this. Boy, walk around everywhere I go, I got to get close to the pole. <laughs> in case I slip down. That's good. That's good. Hey, you going to get I your like uh, Dr. Pepper can? I like real. No, but I was going to say something. Uh, just kind of, I guess, the way I think. Mm -hmm. Because I, I coach children you know check out y'all coach sims coach sims okay check out y'all anyways um know that you were talking about mm -hmm. being in the dugout okay um i mean i've coached high school sports about before. to get deep y'all no it's not i've coached high school sports before middle school you know whatever and there's gonna be kids on the bench there's kids in yeah. the dugout yeah. with you know if it's baseball softball whatever right um but 
you you have to teach those kids that there's a purpose for them still on the team. Hey, that's Even right. Even though they may never step out onto the field during game time, mm-hmm. but they have a purpose during yeah. the game to be vocal, to you know, to encourage their teammates. Um, even in practice, to be that teammate that makes their their teammates that do actually play better. Mm. Um, so, like, even right now, we're in the middle, you know, of basketball season. And there's there's kids that don't play at yeah. all, but we need them every single day yeah. um, to make our starters and our kids that do play yeah. better. So, right. I just kind of wanted to say that. Yeah, that's, that's so good that advice, kinda, like you say. Oh, that, sorry, sorry, sorry. That kind of connected me back to um, one of my first thoughts was mm-hmm. that when I was single, mm-hmm. um, or I guess rather when I was married, I looked back when I was single and mm-hmm. was – Kind of saying like I should have been a better, I should have been a better teammate to mm. the other people that were in my circle that were also single, or the, you know the other people that were at my church that were also single. I mean I don't have to be the leader and say hey we're uh, we're all trying to go towards marriage, but I mean just even just having conversations or having um, activities to do together yeah. on, on a Friday Saturday night. Um, instead of being at home, just watching a movie and being like, well, I'm all by myself. You know, yeah. It sucks. Right. Um, so that kind of just, that thought, your thought and my earlier thought kind of just kind of meshed together. Kinda, yeah. That's good advice, baby. So you, you would also say for them, if they, if they single to, uh, you know, to reach out, like, let's say if it's a single lady, you know, reach out to some other single ladies, you know, Hey, you better together. Yep. You know, encourage them to yeah. live pure. Encourage them to, you know, it's Valentine's Day. Y'all can get together. Well, I mean, it's COVID going on. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Make sure you got one of these on, though, man. It's your mask. One and of these bad boys. You think you're pulling all your but, ear off, man? Right. Ears be super sore. <laughs> you can you can have your little Valentine's Day dinner or picnic, and That's you right. know, get you some candy or whatever you yeah. want to do. Um, you don't have to don't have to have a man to do that. That's right. Um, you can have people that just love you for you and, you know. There you go. Just appreciate each other. Man, that's some that's some, that's some good advice, baby. Yeah. Hey, tell them your Instagram name. It's going to be right here. Cassie L. Sims. Cassie L. Sims. Hey, you know, y'all have any questions? Ladies, y'all, you know, want somebody to connect with? Look, where's your cell phone? You got your cell phone on you? Look, that cell phone, that thing stay right there in the pocket, man. Mm-hmm. Look, as soon as you send that DM or... You hit her up or y'all, you know, may exchange numbers. She's going to be able to hit you back. You know what I mean? She'll be able to help you because, like I said, she's been through that seat. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. After, <laughs> after, yeah, after she feed Mariah. But uh, send her any type of, you know, questions that you got and connect with my wife. She's a very, very, uh, very good person to talk to. Uh, I mean, even though, you know, she threw down the Dr. Pepper can, you know, we, 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 can, look, we can look past that. Now, if it was real Dr. Pepper, I mean. Okay. Shout out to whoever drunk, really? drunk that, cause it was a diet. I mean, it was trying, but you still ain't, you still ain't have to throw it down, cause see, I ain't got no grip. No. And I'm liable to slip on that thing, man. No, no, but look at have this. To, have, have to have to suit a fork out here. This you know? is this is the can. Step back, baby. Mm. This is the trash, though. All right, so close. So close. So close. But yeah, baby. Uh, man, like I say, it's good advice. Y'all hit my wife up. Comment down below. You know, let us know what's up. You know, let us know what's up, man. We we here to help you all. All right? Yeah, we here to help you all. You got anything else for him, baby? That's it for now. Yeah, all right. Okay. All right, we love you all so much. Hey, listen, hit that thumbs up button if you appreciate these videos. Don't forget to subscribe because you want to know why? It, when you subscribe, especially when you hit the bell, I think it's on that side, you're going to be notified every single time a video drop. And guess what? Even if you're on the toilet using the bathroom, you might get that alert and you know you're looking for something to watch on youtube when you know when you kind of sitting down on the toilet or whatever but guess what you're gonna get the alert and uh hey you'll be one of the first ones to check out the video we love you all so much talk to you all in the very next video